Well, the only thing you can hear is uh, air fryer. Because you saw the title, back at full day of eating, this time guys, we have a, a little bit higher full day of eating. We are finally kind of starting the push phase. Before I dive into that, I apologize for maybe a little bit lack of, I wouldn't say lack of content, but uh, definitely a little bit less. Life has been extremely busy and stressful, I will say lately. But that on the side, uh, we have a full day of eating and what we gonna eat throughout the whole day, I'll be showing you the meals, of course, but we do have a new adjustments for uh, two weeks already. And I will be posting that on the screen. Calories and macros are pretty high right now. On, the, on our low days, normal days, we have 500 grams of carbs, 270 protein, 80 grams of fat. And on our high days, we have uh, 640 grams of carbs, 270 uh, protein and 80 grams of fat. Uh, in previous days, it actually was 90 grams of fat, yeah. Uh, and we have a still extra free meal on Saturday. So a lot of food and everything. Right now I'm preparing my meal. I'm gonna assemble that and show you how we start the day, so. Meal one was done. I didn't talk or anything because I'm in a rush and we are already running late. And I did figure out that today is actually a high day, which means we have a plenty of freaking food. Like I had like 60 grams of a spinach. I every single morning since we raised the food, I've been using the um, sauerkraut. It's really good for for a gut, and I do definitely feel a difference in my digestion. I'm not gonna lie because I stopped using those gut products and everything since uh, the show that I did, right? But since we are pushing so much food, started reusing things and my digestion and gut feels way better. Egg whites, we had uh, two whole pasteurized eggs. We had like 50 grams of uh, bison from Megafit inside of that egg whites uh, concoction pretty much. We had some uh, top it a little bit with the Parmesan cheese. So it's kind of like a egg white egg bison pizza with parmesan, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I did top with the barbecue sauce also, so it was pretty fire. And then we had, I think, around 500 grams of uh, potatoes, but if I knew it's a high day, then we will probably have a couple of more slices of bread or something like that. Now when I figured that out, we probably gonna need to have a little bit more food. Uh, but yeah, we're starting off season officially, and uh, you know, I honestly am not even 10 pounds heavier, guys, than I was on my stage, which was like, over 10 weeks ago, I think right now. And like, I've been eating a lot of food, but I'm gaining weight, but it's going pretty slowly. And we are already now at this macro, which is quite a bit of food, if you think about it. And I don't know, we, we just starting. So I don't know how this off season is gonna look like, to be honest, at the end of the day. I don't mind, I'm still hungry. I can still eat, everything is still great. But I know at some point we're gonna have problems. And I'm also still eating extremely clean and pretty much the same meals day-to-day -day basis so once we raise the calories i'm probably gonna need to have like almost every day something that is off of the plan right some free meal let's just say with that said i'm not gonna bother you with talking a lot to we'll keep it on the full day of eating that was meal one we are we are currently around five meals maybe it's gonna be four today maybe it's gonna be six today i don't know because i started like running late and i'm busy 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 tripping okay can't you on a Meal number two. All right, guys, I'm actually putting my meal right now in the microwave. Let me just show you like this first. Pretty much, I don't know if you're gonna see the calories and macros. This is what we're gonna have. It's, uh, this actually became one of my favorite meals from Megafit Meals. It's a hibachi steak bowl, guys. This is amazing and it has this uh, sauce inside as well, 
which is a, how it's called, like a liquid amino sauce. So it's like, it's really nice meal. It's a rice, it's an angus steak uh, mixed with a, uh, with a, it's a hibachi steak bowl, you know what it is. Uh, calories and macros for this meal, guys, are gonna be 520 uh, calories, 10 grams of fat, 68 or 66 grams of uh, carbs, I'm not sure what stands here, one gram of fiber, 40 grams of a protein. If I need to add anything else, it's gonna be included and posted right now on the screen uh, with that for extra calories, but if not, that's gonna be the meal. Typically, if you follow my channel, you know that this second meal is always when I'm busy, typically, and I just like to have some mega fit meal. That didn't change, I've been even busier, but the only thing that distracts me right now in a positive way, it's literally just improving and uh, eating my meals, uh, staying consistent with my meals, with my meal timings. I'm eating every day almost at the same time, even if I'm busy or not. That's why we also always have our mega fit meals. If you need to go somewhere uh, in the city, in the car, etc., we always have that. But if not, I always like to prefer uh, to cook from home and eat from home, right? And also, workouts has been hitting lately totally different. Uh, since I have so much on, on the plate, this is for the first time on the prep, it was more like you know, I need to focus on the prep, so gym gives me anxiety because I see people, I don't want to talk, etc. But now I have so much personal things to do that actually gyms gives, gym gives me that feeling of a freedom. It's finally like uh, those two hours of a day, like I'm actually looking forward to it. And that's what I'm the most happy about because I can focus now even more, even though I have so many other things to focus. But I turn my head off. That's the only thing that currently turns my head off. Uh, but you're gonna see in the future what I'm talking about. There is a lot of new projects, etc. coming. So, you know, I'll keep you posted. So with that said, that's gonna be my next meal. And I'm just heating this up right now. And I'll catch you on uh, pre-workout meals. Meal up. Okay, guys. Uh, off to the pre-workout meal, which you probably already saw the b-roll so you exactly know what i'm eating this works for me the best i haven't changed my pre-workout meal for a long time guys and it's right here so on this first plate we have a have bison half chicken pretty much just because i add my peanut butter on the rice otherwise it will be just bison just to manipulate the fats a little bit because i also don't want to be too heavy in the gym right then we just top it with the lettuce and uh, I have like condiments and sauces that kind of reminds me when you combine that with a lettuce, mustard, etc. It kind of tastes like a burger bowl, if that makes sense. So that's why I separate. Like I eat this first and then we come to the best part, which is plain jasmine rice uh, with uh, everything butter spray, two salt packets on that and the peanut butter that I still didn't put because I like to eat it warm, of course, and while I'm talking it's getting cold. So if you really wonder, it's gonna be B-roll on the screen per usual after I put it on top and everything. Carefully top though, every bite needs to have a peanut butter. Uh, but uh, yeah, that hasn't been changed and, and uh, I don't know, I'm not changing so much my diet pretty much when it comes to my favorite meals and stuff like that. We are just pretty much raising it, right? So now we have more protein, uh, more protein source on one plate and we also have a way more rice as a carb sauce on the other plate, which was typically around 300 grams of carbs so far. Now, today I'm gonna have, uh, I'm not even sure, I think it's 400 grams over here, just not to be too heavy before the gym. And I think 18 to 20 grams of a peanut butter on top of that. So the calories and macros gonna be on the screen. That's gonna be my pre-workout meal. I'm not sure if we're gonna have footage of a workout since we had the last time, but, um, yeah, I'll definitely catch you on the post-workout meal, which will be a fourth meal of the day. So let me enjoy this one. See you in a second. Told you. Now leave me alone.
Okay, guys, well, I'm dropping shit. Um, not that, we have a post workout meal, and I actually ate half of my first plate when I realized that I didn't B roll it for you, which I usually do. You probably saw the b-roll already, but maybe I'll b-roll it again on this first plate. I think 100 grams of a shrimp and like 50 grams of a chicken breast. We have 100 grams of asparagus or head to be more correct. And 150 grams of a pineapple on this one. Then again, huge bowl of uh, rice. Once again, 400 grams of a rice in this meal as well. Uh, with uh, uh, 18 grams of a peanut butter and that's pretty much it so I guys don't have a structured meal plan whatsoever right now even though my meals are the same I just get used to it and for the first time in my life I really don't crave uh, so much shitty, shitty food I will say if I do I will have the last meal of the of the day something that I'm that that craving that I usually can't fit in my macros that will be typically small sweets that I've been eating all the time or there will be a Bread, I don't know, when I have a cheat meal, I usually also eat the same as on the high days because we have so much food right now. But pretty, pretty soon, since the food is already high, I'm probably gonna start eating more like in and out here and there, more sushi and stuff like that. Probably this weekend I'll be going sushi, so I might film uh, that for you guys. And also tonight, we actually, since it's a high day, and we still have a plenty of food for the last meal of the day, I'm probably gonna have something that I crave, right? If I do crave. So the calories markers for the post-workout meal gonna be listed on the screen. I typically don't need a lot of fats in a post-workout meal, but now kind of every meal needs to be higher because fats are also higher. So yeah, kind of enjoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and that replicates in my workouts. My workouts has been amazing. I feel every single workout that I'm progressing. So it's gonna be a good year, guys. It's gonna be a good year. Your boy is gonna be on Olympia stage until 2026, I promise you that. But I'm not gonna be on Olympia stage third, four callouts. When I step in that Olympia stage, you better believe I'll be at least in top 10. That's, that's the goal, but manifest things, guys. Believe in what you say when you say things out loud. And it'll happen, simple as that. But of course, it's not gonna happen if you just sit at home. Back it up with a work ethic, pray, have faith, and things go around. All of that together, combine that with a potential in a work ethic, the, the things are inevitable. The only thing that people don't have a work ethic, that's the problem. Character is what separates you from other people, mindset. And uh, a lot of people unfortunately don't have that border of pushing a little bit more than other ones, I will say, right? So that's why I'm confident where I'm at, but this is a full day of eating, just wanted to share a thought after this workout and I'll catch you on the last meal. We'll see what we're gonna have tonight, maybe pancakes, maybe, Banana bread because our banana is almost getting bad, so I might do that with Kelsey. We'll see. I don't know. I just want to eat my food because it's getting cold. Catch you on the last meal of the day. I think I'm busy, but I don't know. It's too dark. Oh, okay. Now it's adjusting. Isa. Okay. Uh, last meal. I didn't even want to show you this, to be honest, because I'm shutting down slowly. But I decided to show you. And even though my meals are getting cold, you know, at least like because of that. I'm not going to eat it cold. Not a chance. I'll put it in the microwave. So. That we have a lot of food right now, so I've been catching up, like, with everything since we raised that, because I just get used to eating, like, pretty much the same food, and then I forget. Throughout the day that I need to eat way more carbs and stuff like that. So we also kind of, we always kind of need to catch up in the end of the day with something. And that's why I like, don't crave a lot of food right now. Don't crave like cheat meals or anything like that. But I definitely gonna need to start implementing if I wanna actually hit my macros because eating clean already like 640 grams of carbs or something. Anything over 4,000 calories clean, I, I feel like it's really difficult to, to maintain uh, for a long period of time. Now it's still not a problem, as I said. Uh, I always need to have something savory before. If I have a like big plate full of sweet things and stuff like that, I always need to have something savory. Didn't know what to do. The fastest option was uh, air fried potatoes. I love potatoes, like those I can eat every single day. I never get bored of that. That's my favorite source of carbs. 500 grams or something. And then on this plate, something that uh, last off season, which wasn't so long, I was eating every night. 
uh, this and I got, I got kind of used and adjusted to that. So maybe I'm gonna start doing that from now on as well since it is quite a bit in volume. Actually, it's a lot of volume, I'm not gonna lie, because it's thick sliced uh, sourdough bread, the only right bread for a French toast. If you ask me, it's gonna be on the screen. Uh, you gotta try with that one, it's definitely different. Try with, I try with every single bread, but this one, because and also because it's thick slice, sliced and it's sourdough. So pretty much we have a French toast, but I think we have like 10 slices. We have a, if you're wondering what is those toppings, I have it here, you saw it on the brie roll. I ordered from this company all of my condiments pretty much because they're all zero calories and they actually taste really, really close, if not the same as a, a normal, for example, barbecue sauce or anything. This one is chocolate hazelnut syrup and it literally tastes like a liquid Nutella or I'm just crazy because I don't eat Nutella so often. And uh, I have this one, which I guess is a new one from them. It's cookies and cream. So I mix those on top of the sourdough bread. And then I also eat it kind of with a creamy, if I want, or a creamy leaf for the uh, end. Uh, I still making the creamy with a huge vegan one. I don't know why I mix that half of that and I mix half of the huge isolate. So it gives me more kind of flavor, but it also gives me a nice consistency. I think I put something in a creamy. I don't know what it was, but I think I also put some extra carbs or something. So I guess the calories and macros for this meal gonna be listed on the screen. Uh, I think it's around like I don't know, 1500 calories or something, and that's why that's pretty much like a cheat meal. Like, if you wanna try to like eat 1500 calories, you can actually fit a lot of food in 1500 calories, whatever you want. You can probably go, as I said, to in and out and stuff like that. I just still don't crave, and I can still eat the volume kind of food, and I'm enjoying this while I'm watching TV, and it knocks me out because it's so much food. I keep it pretty consistent, and I, that works for me. I like to go to bed full. But that's said calories and macros for the whole day today. I'm gonna be listed on the screen. I'm getting really sleepy. Anyways, love you guys, appreciate you, gonna enjoy my meal, and see you on the next one. Okay, okay.